What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Rogue Tuesday. We're kind of like in a weird bracket of Rogue Tuesday because uh, we have like this match of like two different decks that works together. And this is not only brought to you by PTCG Radio Ross himself. Uh, he actually made top 64 of the Players Cup uh, when playing day two, go 2 0 against Pikaram, and then unfortunately lose to Italian. VMAX, a uh, really rough match from what he says, but I was really intrigued with this deck. I was going to play it until after um, the Players Cup tick came to an end because I was like, sure. I was like, oh, yes, Ross is going to make it. He's going to make top eight or top four, whatever it is. Uh, but unfortunately, he did not make top 16, but it was so much fun watching his run. So I thought, you know, let's test his deck out. You know, Escadrille is kind of like Rogi. You know, Spear Tomb is not, you know, like super main deck. I guess it's getting up there as one of the main decks for sure. But the two together is something we haven't seen outside of Ross, so congratulations, Ross. I'm super excited. Um, so he does a fantastic job covering his deck list, um, so make sure you watch that video. Outside of that, we're not going to cover the deck. We're going to keep it a secret. I want you to go ro watch Ross's video. He actually has all of his games up as well on his channel. If you haven't followed Ross, what are you doing? Go give him a like on, or follow, on, like, whatever. Like, notification on his YouTube channel. So we're going to play the deck. Um... The spiciest card on here is going to be this good old Grimsley. Oh, man, that looks exciting. But we're going to play the deck. I've watched some of his videos, you know, watching the, the deck and stuff, seeing how it works. And I'm trying try my best to do some justice. Uh, yesterday we did play Galaxy and Mewtwo. If you missed that, that was pretty fun. Uh, let's go play some Spear Tomb Excadrill. Uh, this really strong one prize attacker. You're doing a ton of damage. Uh, 11th hour attack or something we don't really go for unless you know of course you're going to you know, like win the game with it the problem i'm gonna have is i'm not 100 percent like good with the spear two math i'm just gonna be perfectly honest so we said this goes and i don't know like what matches to put what down and stuff like that so we are gonna go first i think that's probably the better choice uh the good thing about this deck and ross actually says this as well um we can start deontay or jinx both seems kind of uh, We'll start Deontay. I think this it might be the wrong Pokemon, especially if this is Dragon Ball, like I think it is. Um, but we can air balloon it. I don't want my Jinx getting knocked out. If this is Dragon Ball, Jinx is a very crucial card in that matchup. Uh, so we get an air balloon, which we could put down, but I'm just gonna hold it for right now. Do we go for a Diamond Rain attack? Why not? We'll go for that. Okay. Uh, so let's see what they're playing. I like. I, I think it's Dragapult. It makes me see. Oh, yeah, it's Dragapult. Okay. So we'll see how this matchup goes. Uh, 36, 9, 10. Uh, there's a Crush Hammer. Tails. I'm, I'm fine if he wastes his Crush Hammers on the Deontay. Like, 100% like on that. So we know for sure Deontay's useless in this matchup, right? So we're not going to go for the good old um, Excadrill. There's an Absol. Okay, which means the air balloon will, the fighting energy will help us now. Perhaps we'll come down. Still have the wishes. Let's see what they get here. There's an the energy spanner, which is going to get them two psychics. Which is good for them. There is a energy spinner. There's three psychic energies. There's psychic energy going to the dragon bolt. Team Yell Grunt. And just pass. Okay. So actually, I'm going to put the air balloon on this. You can still air balloon fighting. I think air balloon fighting is probably fine. We'll go ahead and research. Ditto. I guess we could have ditto for a Zep Psycho if we wanted to. Mm. It's unfortunate. Our hand next turn is bad. Yeah. We discard some resources. But we have ways to get around it. That's fine. Uh, we'll go ahead and do this for this. I probably should have not have done that. I probably should have Great Ball first. Yeah. Feeling a spite. Feeling a spite. Press done. It's okay. How much Dragon Ball VMAX do to the bench? Is it? It's not a lot, is it? Is it a lot? Not a lot? I don't know. I can't remember. Can't recall. 
Our brain's not working right now. I'm nervous. But we can, we can boss sort of knock out the Dragon Bolt next turn. There's a Horror Energy, which is kind of bad for us, of course. There's a Psychic Energy being discarded. So we're going to see a Dragon Bolt VMAX come down. Uh, the question I keep asking myself is how much damage does this guy do on the bench? Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. Well, he's got to find a way to treat this guy. We know Marnie's one card in his hand. Oh, well, that's a... Uh... That's a double knockout there. And Jirachi. Okay. Marnie. Okay. So we need to do 160 this turn. Oh, that's bad. Real bad. Real bad. Okay. It's plenty terrible right now, Josh. Get to here. I shouldn't have Spirit Tomb at all. So I need 160, right? So 3, 6, 9, 12. If I put 5. See, this is where I don't know like how the math works. Uh oh, that's not good. I should have... Oh, man, dude. I'm playing so bad right now. Playing so bad right now. Yeah, I'm playing so bad. He's going to take a double knockout here. Mm. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I see you. I see you. Yeah, I played this matchup really bad here. I know Ross probably like kicking me right now, saying, "What are you doing, Josh?" We just lose, right? Yeah, we just lose because we can't garbage truck. Okay, okay. <laughs> We'll try it again. Like I said, I spear tomb is what makes my math hurt because I'm not good at spear tomb math. If you want to see this deck good do good, watch Ross why I struggle, right? I don't I haven't played this matchup nowhere near as Ross has or this deck. I would be way better at just uh Excadrill, right? So yeah, we'll go first. Okay, so we know I thought Dragon Ball was not the same start again. Not knowing what my opponent is playing. <laughs> Watch it be like Dragon Ball again, and I did the same. Man, that, what is it? Oh my goodness! It is okay. So we're gonna we're gonna redeem ourselves. We're gonna redeem ourselves, right? We're gonna redeem ourselves this time. We're gonna try at least. Yeah, we drop Morgan. Okay, that's terrible. So we get the tomb. We get Great Ball first. For tomb. Go ahead to tomb. We can go ahead and just dark. Quick Excadrill to find a Dadini. Alright, so round number two against this. Okay. This. Not what I want to see, unfortunately. Probably should not have done that and just held the tombs because now like we'll like research our tombs away uh, I'm sure it's done right now I really don't want to do too much crazy because we could double next turn move the energy and take a knockout yeah I should have grabbed the sphere tomb that was bad there's a zigzagoon okay so the putting on the, the sphere tomb is not bad because we could just ominous to this guy and then take a knockout which is fine Quick ball. Dragapult. Okay. Psychic like energy dragapult. Quick ball. A Gengar. Okay. There's Orangaroo. So we see the Orangaroo to the re the to, to the wish. 
Now, I'm hoping he Marnies us here. Oh, Dadini's. Okay. Yeah, if he Marnies us here, we're fine with that. Uh, the Spirit Teams do get put on the bottom deck, but that's okay. I feel like that's okay. Uh, we can get Zepstriker next turn with the Ditto to help us draw cards. We have a better turn, too, for sure, than we did last game because we, we're learning a little bit more. That's what we do here on the Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. We learn when we play these games. So there's a Boss Order. Boss Order doesn't really do anything for us right now or for him. Um, maybe next turn it will. Um, but yeah. See Primate Wisdom. Maybe this. Maybe he Primates the boss on top and then Marnie's here is what I'm hoping for. Another Dragon Ball come down. Okay. And just a hard pass. Okay. So... We get Omnius to here. Building Spike. Rainbow this. We'll Hustle Belt this. And then we'll research. Okay. Man, that's a lot of energies we might have to discard here in a second. That would literally be all of our energies if we decide to do this play. I might just hold off right now and not do anything. Yeah, I might just press done here. And let's see what my opponent does. So he could take out this spear tomb, right? He could take a double knockout, but then we could potentially knock him back out. Yeah, there's a treasure, which will find the Dragon Ball VMAX. Yep. Now, I put the energy on Dedini because we can retreat it, or we can go for a Tingling Return GX. Okay. Still a wish. Super scoop up. My hand is really good. As long as he doesn't Marnie it. <sighs> yep. Yep. Um, what's your two basic Pokemon? Double Tomb. We'll do this for this. It's kind of risky, but like we have to do this right now. And then we'll sprint. We got the belt. We got the Spear Tomb. The only problem is we don't have any more rainbows left. So, 5, 10, 15, 16. That's too much damage already? I think that's too much, actually. Go ahead and air balloon for free retreat. I think we only needed the two, right? Three, six, seven. Uh, no, we had to, yeah, we had to do the three. Yeah, that's fine. 320, exactly. So three with the belt is enough for a knockout. That's cool to note. There's a great ball. That. And Ordinary Rock. Ordinary Rock, we get back to Spirit Tombs, which is good. The problem is that, like I said, is we don't have any more um, rainbows? It didn't seem like. Maybe they're all just prized, unfortunately. Hmm. Now, he could just bite for knockout. 
is a this dimension breach. Okay. Which I can shuffle back in the dark and two spirit tombs this turn. I'm kind of like curious why he set this up. I guess just in case he whiffs the energy. Okay, he's got the energy. I'll put you. Okay, he can shred for knockout. <clears throat> um. So I can research. I can put down Dribbler. And Escudero can actually knock out a Dedini. Well, great to thin the deck. Oh, I didn't attach the energy. Oh my goodness, you forgot to attach the energy, Josh. No. Oh, what a what a silly misplay on my part. Okay, never punished. Tingler return. Okay. Instead of this. I should have probably English cry last turn, but he's got the switch, so that's good we didn't. Ah, uh, get rid of our rainbow. Okay, the rod's in the deck, right? It is. Okay. There's a psychic. Yeah, Rod is in the deck. <clears throat> okay. Scoop ups. So you can scoop up the goon, take a knock out of the tomb. If he can get the spirit tomb out of the active. But if he has to scoop up this, then he can't scoop up that. How many nets has he played? One scoop up, no net so far. He's already played. Let's put a card for the turn. So we'll see what else happens. Three, six, seven, one, forty. No, we're near enough for a knockout right now. Okay. For any research to play three is my last research. Hmm. I could research into sprint. And if I could hit the boss sword that's in the deck, I know it's in the deck. We could win this turn, right? I hope we talk like the ordinary rod. That'd be great. Right? Yeah, if we talk like ordinary rod, we are looking really, really good. Okay, there's a net. Pick up the Jirachi. Sends up this guy. He's got another this guy. Two darks are already discarded as well. Now, he can't put five here because we can just move the damage. Okay. All right, so we just need rainbow we win. Right? Yeah, if we rainbow we win. Three, six, seven, one, forty. So we know the rainbow's in the deck. So we're building spite. Omnius. Into sprint. <clears throat> Into rainbow. Into anguish cry. And there we go, we did it, we took that spirit too. Okay, Ross, I redeemed myself if you're watching this. 
Okay, we, we, we figured out how to play the deck. We know how to play against the Dragapult. Okay, so you need three energies, and you one-shot them. Or three damage counters, and you one-shot a Dragapult. Which is very easy to do with uh, with the Jinx, like he said in his video. I just was halfway listening. So let's say we don't play against Dragapult this turn, so we can see how the deck works. But Dragapult is one of the best decks in the format, and so is Picarom, which is what this deck is built to do. It is it's there to beat both of those, and it does that fairly well. Um... I lost game one because I didn't know what I was doing 100%, and uh, we had to figure out the math. So we see, ooh, our tractor lost coin flip. Now, the cool thing about this is we can swing turn one with the spirit tomb, uh, but we hit triple drill burr. We could rototiller. <laughs> oh, there's a Melamar. Okay, there's a week to grass, unfortunately. Blitzel, Drill Burr. I guess we'll fight in the active. Press done. Yeah, that's fine. <coughs> There's a... What is happening right now? There's a VMAX. Okay. Greens. So you can't attack this turn, so that's good to note. How do we deal with the VMAXs that were not hit for weakness? I mean... <sighs> this is what Ross like kind of lost to. I mean, it's a totally different deck because Italian is very, very strong. But this one hmm, is a little bit different. I don't know how good Max Jammer is, but we'll find out. It needs three energies, but with Magneton? I mean, you only attach Metal Energy, so I don't know what's happening. Uh, that's not a card we want to see. Well, I guess this is what happens when you're playing a deck like this sometimes. Well, Mudslap, are you resistant to me? You're not. <laughs> well, we're about to see a Max Jammer here. Do 180. That will one-shot us pretty easily. There we see an Evolution Instance. Going to find himself a Magneton. What is the call signal? Do I've seen this card before, but I haven't read it before. Huh. So we get to take a prize card here. Very good. So he's knocking himself out to get three supporter cards. Huh. Road Tuesday versus a Road Tuesday deck. Let's go. So you get Lieutenant Sergius. Okay. Oh, that's a card. That's a good card there. Lieutenant Sergius. You can play two more supporter cards this turn. Okay. There's a greens. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see what he looks for. So he greens it to Cynthia. So this will definitely get him a knockout max jammer. He could stamp us, but like our hand is bad already. Counter green and quick ball. Okay. Counter green the active. Quick ball. For another Malamar? Yep. Melamar coming down. Cynthia. So he's going to be able to... Oh, goodness. He's going to put the quick ball on the bottom of her deck. No! <laughs> okay. Yeah. Bye, quick ball. I imagine... Seemed like a fair play. Okay. Come on now. Okay. Boom! <laughs> I don't know what the, the, the significance of like hitting him for 10. It's probably nothing. But I want to promote the drill bar that can actually probably swing next turn. Um, so that's why I did that. So we see another fighting energy, or dark energy with the active. Well, it is uh, not looking good for good old Joshua Marking in the VMAX error. And this is what happens when we play against decks that, I mean, SPO2 could maybe help us out later in the game, right? We're going to soften with the VMAXs. But man, if we have, okay, 150, 60, the best we can do with this guy is 220. And I'm just being honest there. 
Say the Caitlyn discarding, uh, I don't know, Marnie maybe? No. I don't know what card it was. Maybe it was Marnie. What's the Max Jam? We're gonna put a bump deck now. At this point, you're just helping us out. Right? That's fine. Like I said, all the cards are helpful to us, so I mean, eh, it's up to him. Okay, top deck. Well, I guess we could attach the Hustle Band, but then like I'm scared that he might have a Control Scrapper. Either way, he's going to go to the bottom of the deck. That's the card you want to... I think you feel like you send the, the Hustle Band on the bottom of the deck, right? This is what happens with this deck, though, because we're playing like 20 sets of Pokemon. Um, we do play four, four... Okay, there's a boss order. Bring my tomb. Thank you so much. Glad to attach a Hustle Belt now. Now, do you put the Hustle Belt on the bottom of the deck? To try to get rid of it? Or do you keep it in our hand so we can get rid of it? So we don't discard it. And I'm actually fine with that because now if we do discard our hand, uh, the belt is still in the deck. Uh, so I'm actually going to be proactive and attach rainbow energy here so we can treat next turn. It's not looking good. Uh, <laughs> uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, there, the boss order bringing my blood up, which means there's no way. Watch this top deck except Strika, and I cry, right? Once again, I think you would. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter either way. That's the game. So game one, we uh, figured out how we beat, uh, you know, good old Dragon Ball. We saw the deck in action. Game number two, we saw. Man, do we play one more game? I really want to see Excadrill in action. Let's play one more. We'll do a best of four today. Usually, I only like to do three games, but um, game one was a learning game. Game two, we beat Dragon Ball, which, like I said, I think this is a good matchup for us. And uh, game number three, we, you know, we were playing a very clunky deck, as Ross would say. So. Yeah, I'm fine with playing one more. Oh, I always love playing Pokemon anyway, so why not? We, Wes know best. Wes knows best. What's up, Wes? Do you know what's best? Okay. Yeah. Look at those Tennessee sleeves. Oh, the tin I see. Okay. So we get Quick Ball. Oh, that's a good card. Go ahead and dump this. To grab this. Go ahead and do this. I don't know what he's playing. But, I mean, we can, like, see... We're going to hold the hand right now. We can seriously power up this, this spear tomb next turn, right? I don't know what he's playing, so I don't want to... Uh, I mean, we already double spied anyway. Double, we already spied in Rainbow, so... You attach a fighting, hustle, sycamore. There's a crushing hammer. Heads. Bye bye, Rainbow Energy. Zashi. So Zashi can't hit the bench. That's good. Metal Frying Fan. Okay, that's a little scary. Research. Okay. So, how do we deal with Zashi in is the question, right? Uh, do you play Tool Scrapper? He has not, but he's discard two hammers. There's an Intrepid of the Sorted. Okay, so he can't hit the bench. I mean, he could play Mew. Um, that could be problematic. Um, does a Hustle Belt help anywhere? I mean, we're going to pretty much one shot about everything. Blitzel, do you want a hustle ban? <laughs> okay, so we can Great Ball. Go Zip Striker. Zip Striker. We can communicate in the Dadini to get a extra drill. Put down Excadrill, Air Balloon, we can Quick Ball a Quick Ball for another Spirit Tomb, Spirit Tomb, Building Spite, <clears throat> Building Spite, 
Um, we could spread our hold of boss order. I'm just gonna drill bazooka. Oh, my jinx! <laughs> Whoops. Well, that's a good card. We uh, didn't want to discard. And a second belt. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I see it's 250 HP. Okay. Um, can we do 250? I don't know. Takes 30 less, right? So if we have 5, 10, 15, 16. The heads, thank you so much. I guess we're gonna dig for more energies. So he has no energy on the Zashin, which is very good for us. So he's not attacking at all. There is a power point. I don't care about that. Tool Scrapper, my only belt left. All right, looks like we have to two shot this thing for sure. Which I mean, we're pretty much two shotting regardless. And then the Zashin comes down. I guess we'll Sycamore. Yeah. We have to come more. We need energies, Josh. Yeah, I want to research. Okay. We can great ball. Find Deontay. Okay. We'll building spike. Building spike. Okay. We'll drill bazooka. Which means we can knock it out next turn. Oh, well, there's a boss. I mean, not a boss. There goes the rocks. Sorry. Rocks, 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 rocks. Okay, quick ball. I probably should have dropped the drill bar so we can attack with the next turn if needed. Alright. How many pal pads? Oh, a Mallow and Lana. How dirty. He just goes a saucer there, so I'm fine with that. But he heals all the damage off this, which is kind of upsetting. And there's a Marnie. Yeah, I probably should have dropped the drill bar, like I said. And there's a Trepid Sword. Okay. Hey, Kit Kat. Hey, Mazora. What you doing, baby? Okay, so go dribbler into fighting. Into we'll just build a spike this guy. Into dribble zooka. Okay. There's a Marnie. Let's see, eleventh hour attacker is getting very very close to that, but he will take a knockout this turn. Um, we got Excadrill to get that back. Steel, okay, we're looking okay. There's a Luke Metal, Frying Pan, Acro. Where's the Kit Kat? Where's my baby? Saucer. Okay. Switch, Energy, Full Metal Wall, GX. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yeah, why would you go for the hammer there? That's really an interesting play for my opponent, for sure. Like, going for the hammer there seems really bad to me. <clears throat> I think we should go for another uh, uh, drill bazooka. Problem is, we, like, three-shot this guy now. Um, if he takes a knockout, we could take a knockout with Spear Tomb. Okay. So we get a Dark Energy, which is good for us. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 16. We're only doing... Oh, man. I think we'll go for another... Drill Bazooka? Two rainbows. We got a fighting. I Means spear two gonna get knock on this guy. Now 
There's that steel energy, that guy. How many pal pads have we played? Both pal pads are gone. It's a little scary for us. I don't know how much resources we have left right now. Is the only thing. I can great ball to see the rest of my deck. Rainbow Research Excadrill. Okay. We'll hold the Excadrill. We can pull the Excadrill out. Just to evolve. We can Ordinary Rod. We can go to Dini and Spirit Tomb. And do Fighting and that. Attach this here. We can go Building Spite for like the max amount of damage. And then Anguish Cry. How likely can you probably the other Zashi in this my question? Is an acro? <laughs> I mean, does it retreat to this guy? This guy can then take a knockout on this guy. Because I will play my hand low enough to get the uh the drill bazooka or the eleventh hour attacker off. So primate wisdom, okay. See what else he's got here. There's an Eldegoss V coming down. This could grab my only fear, which is Malolana. And that's what he grabbed, right? That's the only card I was like legit scared of. Because we have no more boss and no more pal pads. But we'll see. Metal to the active. Steel fist for knockout. <clears throat> so he goes out of four. So we can put down Fionn. We can go for a sprint. Yeah, we'll go for 11th hour tackle. For the knockout, we'll go down to one. There's one, two, three. Okay. We've got two cards left. We swing next turn, do a ton of damage <clears throat> with Spirit Tomb. We have one rainbow left in deck. I think the Fionn is going to save us. Now, what could happen is he could bring this up and we lose because we deck out. I guess this guy kind of saves us from decking out every single turn because we can just Whirlpool suction every single time. So this is a brave really for knockout. Okay, I'm fine with that play. So this goes down to three. We'll sit at Spear Tomb. On our turn. We will Building Spite. Building Spite. Now if I remember correctly, the only card left in my deck should be a rainbow. Perfect. Put a dark here. We'll go for Anguish Cry. Do we have enough to actually take a knockout the next turn? Hmm. Quick Ball. I 
A Mew? If he attacks a Mew, we win. Just being honest. His best play is to boss order the Deontay, but then we'll just like keep Whirlpool suction until he knocks out the Deontay. So that's okay. I guess his best option is actually to knock out the Fione. If I'm being serious, yeah, yeah. That's probably the best action right there. Let's shut down GX and EX. I don't care about that at all. Switch. Okay. Boss. Okay. I'm actually okay with this, like I said. Metal, okay. Intrepid Sword, that's okay. Because what we're gonna do now is actually, um, I think we're gonna win now. So we get Rainbow here. Whirlpool. So he's gotta bring Sunny up. And then we'll press done. Okay. What I'll do is put a fighting unit here and make them think like I have a way to retreat it. Press done. Marnie, okay. Okay, so set up the spear tomb. We'll put down the Fion. Use Whirlpool section. If I put this up to two, then he can take a knockout next turn. I'm gonna anguish cry. Let's see if he's got. Oh, so he might deck out here, right? Yeah, yeah, we'll deck him out now. Does he have another switch? He's already played four switch. And yeah, we're gonna win this game. Oh my goodness! Oh, that's exciting. Oh, yes. Well played. And there we go. Yes, all right, we did it. <laughs> Even if he, so if he would have sent the Eldegoss, which I was hoping he would have done, is we could have Grimsley did damage from the other guy to the Eldegoss, like a knockout. So there we go, guys. Excadrill, uh, Spirit Tube took down Zashian V in a very, very close match, for sure. Well, I guess it's Zashian V. Luke Metal, we did 1,110 damage, but guys, hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, have a great Tuesday, we'll see you tomorrow for Wayback Wednesday, and a shout out to Ross again, check out his videos, fantastic guy, alrighty, bye.